Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture series on design principles of operating system. Let me start with a simple question. When you use your phone, you might be playing music, scrolling Instagram and downloading a file all at the same time. Have you ever wondered how your phone manages to juggle all this smoothly? The answer is operating system. You can think of it as an invisible manager of your computer, assigning tasks, revolving conflicts, and keeping everything under control. Without it, even the most powerful hardware would just sit idle. In this series, we will explore the design principles that makes operating system so powerful. And we will be following two key test books. The first one is Operating System, Internals and Design Principles by William Starling. It is the main test book. Now, for the practical system, we will be following the test books Unix Cell Programming by Yaswant Kanetkar. So exactly what exactly we are going to learn? Let's break it down. At first, we will understand the OS will understand the OS components and structures. Here, over here, we will discuss the key components of computer system, that is the processor, memory, IO devices, and see different ways the OS can be organized. Just like a company may be structured under one boss or with multiple departments. Next, we will discuss the concept of processes and threads. Imagine a computer like a kitchen, one burner making tea, another boiling rice, while you chop vegetables. Each is a process. The threads are like helpers working inside one dish. The OS makes sure no dish burns out while multitasking. After that, we will discuss about the concept of scheduling and synchronization of processes. Now, when many tasks demands the CPU, who gets served first? That's scheduling. Like a teacher giving every student a chance to speak. And what if two tasks need the same resource at the same time? That's where synchronization comes in. Just like the traffic lights making sure new cars don't crash at the crossing. Next, we will discuss the concept of deadlock. Sometimes the car gets stuck in a narrow street. Neither can move. That's deadlocks in computer. And we will learn how the OS prevents and resolves it. After that, we will discuss the concept of memory management, file handling, and I.O. schemes. You can think of OS as a librarian with limited self space. It decides who gets how much memory and how the files are stored so that you can quickly find you can quickly find what you need. Just like your phone's photo gallery arranging the pictures by dates. At last, we will be discussing the Unix and cell scripting. Over here, we will step into the Unix world. We will learn the different commands and scripting. And we will be mostly writing step by step instructions to do the repetitive tasks automatically. In short, this course will give you both the theory and the tools to understand and even design an operating system. Now let's talk about the practical side, the lab work. At first, we will discuss, we'll give a brief introduction of Unix operating system. What is, what we'll discuss about the basic Unix and file systems. Next, in assignment one, we will discuss the essential Unix commands. Over here, we will study the basic commands like for creating folders, moving files, or checking what's running in the system. After that, we will discuss the important concept of cell programming or cell scripting, wherein we can automate the tasks 
For example, instead of renaming 100 files by hand, a small script can be written to do this in seconds. After that, we will in assignment 3, we will practice cell scripting with variables, operators, conditions, and loops. Next, in assignment 4, we will discuss, we will practice the process management. We will observe, that is, we will observe how multiple tasks run and even we can control them. Last, in assignment 5, we will come discuss the concept of multi-threading and synchronization in Unix. Think of a web browser loading multiple tabs at once. Finally, we will put all together in a mini project. These labs will ensure you don't just learn the concepts, you will actually experience how an OS works. So that's our roadmap from understanding the OS fundamentals to tackling real world problems like scheduling and deadlocks to hands-on Unix programming. In the next lecture, we will discuss, we will start with the very basics, that is the elements of computer system and the evolution of microprocessor, the foundation on which the operating systems are built. Thank you for joining me and let's begin this exciting journey into the world of operating system. Thank you. Thank you.